We are your local election headquarters, and 8 News Now investigator David Charnes joining us now with the latest totals in these big races, David. Yeah, Brian Denise, so we will have a new governor come January, Governor Joe Lombardo. This is, oh, that check mark just appearing on screen in the last couple of minutes there. I was going to do one myself, but here's how Joe Lombardo got there. You see our state here with those blue and red counties. Here in Clark County, where Sheriff Lombardo is, Sheriff, he was trailing Governor Sisolak by five points up in Washoe County. He was tied. Now keep in mind, Governor Sisolak became Governor Sisolak by winning here in Clark County by 13 points. You see here uh, Joe Lombardo winning this race by about 20,000 votes with more to count. All eyes, though, on us tonight with this race, the Senate race, and that is because Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is trailing Adam Laxalt, former Attorney General Adam Laxalt, by 800 votes. Yeah, 800 votes is what we're talking about here. And the reason why this race hasn't been called is because there are so many outstanding votes, those mail-in votes that are being processed. My colleague Vanessa Murphy about to talk about that here in Clark County. Now, Catherine Cortez Masto is leading here by seven points, and her lead will only grow as mail-ins tend to skew towards Democrats. The voting we got today from Clark County added 27,000 votes in total. About it was two to one margin for Catherine Cortez Masto. Quick here, all of our house races have now been called. Dina Titus winning her race. We told you that earlier in the day. Uh, Susie Lee winning her race here, 52% to 48% to April Becker. And Stephen Horsford winning his race by about the same margin there in a district four. So come January, there will be a new governor here in Nevada, Governor Joe Lombardo. Denise.